All right, it's December, and uh, that means it's time for my, uh, well, what I sold in November of this year, 2018. How did I do? How did I do? How did I do? Um, well, I've been saying I all year, basically, I've had a minimum goal of uh, $2,000 in sales per month, and I'd like to do more like three, and I'd really like to do more. Um but did I do it this month? Did I make my minimum goal of 2000 or better? Well, I made my minimum goal of 2000 plus a little bit. Um, $2,145.03 in sales this month. And um, that would be 49 sales. <clears throat> One thing this month is you get to hear my sexy, raspy voice. Um, I was sick last week and I'm progress progressively improving. And uh, working my through, working my way through a little bit of a sore, uh, sore throat right now. And uh, like I said, it's my sexy, raspy voice, unless I do actually start hacking and coughing, which I've been uh, doing. But if I do, I'll edit that out, and all you get is my sexy, raspy voice. Anyway, um, forty nine sales. My biggest ticket item, my biggest uh, ticket sale was one hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and that was for a perfume. And uh, then my smallest sale was $12.99, and that was for a CD. Like I said, um, how do I feel about how I did this month? I'm going to say, eh, no big deal. I personally feel I should be doing better. I have over a 1,000 items, uh, almost 1,200 items listed pretty much permanently, you know, and I'm always adding to it. That could be selling, that should be selling, some of them, all of them, and... Um, they're not really selling at a rate I'd like to. People that have way less items listed than I do sell way more items than I do. Um, but the thing about eBay, if you're looking to dabble or get into it, uh, eBay is not a quick, uh, it is not a get-rich-quick uh, scheme. If you do eBay, you're in it for the long haul. Um, you can do it for fun on the weekends. Uh, you could do it to make some extra money. But if you're doing it for real, it's more than a 9 to 5. It's like you get up, you do eBay, you do eBay till you go to bed sometimes. Uh, but anyway, like I said, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Uh, but you can. You can make money. You can get by. And some people are really successful at it. Uh, I'm not really one of those. <laughs> uh, I, I balance things. Um, but I've decided to step up my eBay. And really hustle it, really go for it. So what did I sell this month? All right. Um, my first sale. It happened on the very first day of the month. And I sold a pair of vintage oval Italian floral micro mosaic. And there were two pins in uh, in the lot. Nice little pins. I got $29.99. Um, Reese uh, buys these and then she tries to sell them at the flea markets. And if they don't sell at the flea markets, they eventually wind up on eBay. At the flea market, we had these for a while. On eBay, we listed them in September. That was our starting time, September 18th. Uh, they were an auction listing. They did not sell. And then we put them in the store, and they did sell, uh, I guess, a little bit over. No, not even a month later, about 10 or 11 days. First sale, jewelry. Um, if you see this stuff, it can do well. Uh, the prices that we put on these pins isn't a lot, but these aren't the really old pins. The really old pins are way more intricate and have smaller pieces. Uh, my second sale of the month, same day, it was an advertising knife, a vintage advertising Carlisle Trucking Colonial USA semi-truck uh, pocket knife, nineteen ninety nine. Not a lot of money, but this was part of a lot of knives that I bought for $20.00. And uh, there were more than 20 knives in the lot. Um, I've already made plenty of money on these. I even had someone offer to buy them all off of me. He offered me $400. I had everything listed for $800, so I turned them down. I actually had these sitting in my house, and that's what it's like in my house. Uh, there's just stuff just sitting around waiting for me to cherry pick and make money from. And this was one of the items in a case of, of knives that I picked up at the same time. And I finally got around to listing them in June 
of 2018, middle of the month, June 16. And they've been selling ever since. I think I've made at least four or 500 off of that $20 purchase. What was the lesson from this sale? Advertising knives sell, and I've sold them for more than $20. Depends on the knife. Um, sale number three, a perfume. Monsieur Hubigant Light Cologne Musk Splash, four fluid ounces, 80% full. Got $29.99 for it. When did I list it? Mm, in the summer, June 20th, 2018. Didn't take forever to sell. Might have had this sitting around again uh, and just waiting to be listed like a lot of other stuff. But listed it, took less than six months. Not bad. 30 bucks. All right, my next sale. I'm already losing count. I'm not going to count my sales off as I go by, but this was for another perfume. Vintage Mons... Uh, I guess it's Monsieur. Edouard Cologne Pour Home, which means for him or for men. Four fluid ounces, 50 bucks. When did I list this puppy? Mm, 10 years ago. Hey, remember what I said at the beginning of the year? Uh, the bidding... <laughs> hey, remember what I said at the beginning of the video? How uh, if you're doing eBay for real, it's not a get rich queen. Ugh. It's not. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in. I don't care. It's not a get rich scheme. How can you tell? It took me 10 years to sell this. 10 years, a decade to sell this uh, cologne, this perfume. No problem. It sold. What's the difference, right? 50 bucks. And I actually had shipping on this one. Another $6. Uh, the funny thing is, is um, I've been using my my same set, my that same lighting set. You could see for 10 years now because I light the, my perfumes the same way. I found a set that works for me. Uh, maybe one day I'll show it. I'll make a video of it. Whatever. 50 bucks perfume took 10 years to sell. That's something that you, you have to understand with eBay. It's like not everything sells right away. That's why many years ago I started an eBay store and I've just maintained it. All right. Uh, another perfume. Loom Roger and Galet Eau de Toilet Natural Spray 3.4 fluid ounces 100 millimeters 85% full 60 bucks not bad don't even ask me where i got this stuff um you know i buy perfumes all the time and i oh my i only had it listed for and i almost never run auctions on perfumes i just like to find out what they're worth uh november 5th which means i sold it jeez that's, i sold it the next day i must have priced it perfectly uh, sometimes I do that, and then somebody wanted it. Uh, jewelry, you know, we sell a lot of jewelry and perfumes. And uh, I'm not really listing games anymore. I've given them to my daughter to list so she can make extra money. Oh, this sale was a pain in the ass. Uh, vintage Lav in Paris, gold and silver tone, twister choker necklace, 15 and one hand inches with tag. Sold it for $42.99. Uh, nice sale. We um, most assuredly ran it to auction, did not sell because it wound up being a good till cancel. Sold it November 5th. Uh, why was the sale a pain in my ass? Because when the person got it, they said that the gold chain had unraveled. And they were like, uh, they took it to their jewelry. Uh, the jeweler said they could fix it for $23. And I was like, Marie said she could fix it. So I was like, send it back. So the lady's like, well, I want to keep it. So I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? And she says, look, I'm going to try and fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll contact you. So then she contacts me like later and says, I made it worse. And I'm like, you know what? I give up. I just give up. I just don't care. I said, fine. Look, you said uh, you can take it to your jeweler, jeweler for $23. I just don't want to deal with, with nonsense all the time. So, uh, of course, I did block this buyer. Um, just she should have sent it back. You know, I would have blocked her anyway, but it's, you know. She dragged it out. Um, so I said, look, I'll give you the, the $23 to fix it. She said, well, I'll have to. I'll take it to my jeweler. I'll see what he says. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. So she took it to the jeweler. The jeweler said it would cost $24 to fix now or something like that. She said, but I'll, the 23 is fine. I said, fine. I gave it a 23. I haven't heard from, from her since. All right. And that was probably the most annoying sale I had this month. Uh Things don't always go per perfectly on eBay. Things don't always go smoothly. You know what? Who cares? 
Uh, you know how many sales I have that went fine? To have a bump in the road every once in a while, it's no big deal. Uh, I figure every once in a while I'm going to get hit with an egg, whatever. It goes away after a year, if you didn't know that. Um, every once in a while I'm going to have a, a, a sale where the customers are paying in the ass. No big deal. Block them and move on. Uh, vintage Hermes, Paris, Gil, ugh, Paris Silk. I think I had to moisten my lips. Uh, vintage Hermes, Paris Silk scarf, equestrian design, three... Wait a minute, 35 inches times 35 inches with tag and box. Um, this we got for helping someone. We went into their house. We sorted stuff. We said, this is garbage. This is good stuff. This should go on eBay. This can go to yard sales. This should uh, be thrown away. Uh, Marie pulled out uh, this scarf and a handkerchief. Said, uh, I'm interested in these. These were the best items she saw that she wanted to deal with. How much do you want? They said, look, you've been so helpful. Just take it. One hundred twenty-five dollars, uh, one hundred forty, one hundred twenty-four dollars ninety-nine cents with two bids from the same person because we started off at one hundred twenty-four ninety-nine. Uh, that happens a lot. People make a bid, they get nervous they're going to lose the bid, and they bid again. Uh, it was an auction, sold right away as soon as we listed it. PlayStation Two. This is my next sale. Dual Shock Slate Gray Controller, uh, new sealed. I got $46.99 for this. Is that good? Yeah, I guess it is. You know, I had this on, uh, I took it to the flea market, tried to get 15 to 20. No sale. I put it in my showcase. I think I had it at 25. Maybe I made it 30. Don't know. Had it in there for quite a while. I'm sure you've seen it in my showcase videos. No sale. I needed the room to put something else in. Gave up, put it on eBay. Listed it as a buy it now for the price that it sold. I listed it in October of uh, 2018, and it sold within uh, less than a month, actually. So that's good. And that's my thing with eBay. I don't want to list everything on eBay. I'm more of a flea market person. I want to sell to you people that shop at flea markets. I want to give you a good price that you'll be happy with. But sometimes you just don't buy the goddamn things. So, you know. I can lower the prices so much before I'm like giving it away and eventually it'll wind up on eBay or I'll give it to a friend to sell. I just did that with um, a DS, a DSi. I had a DSi in my showcase for months and nobody was buying it. So I gave it to Paige. I said, Paige, I don't even care what I get for this anymore. You sell it, I'll split it the money with you. She put it on Facebook, sold it within a day. Could I have done that? Yes, but I'm a busy guy. I'm already doing a lot of stuff. Next sale, vintage sign, Christian Dior cufflink tie clip set with original box, $60. Nice sale. Um, and I know I was offered, uh, I believe, 25 for these. And I told them no. Uh, good till canceled. I listed it in January of 2017. It took less than a year to sell. But again, if you're doing eBay, you better be prepared. Uh, you better be patient. Not everything sells right away. You're in for the long haul. All right. Oh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Vintage Sanrio, <clears throat> 1999 Hello Kitty Bats Maru. Ho, ho, ho. Five-inch Christmas plush with tag. 1999. Bought these at a yard sale. I bought several of these at a yard sale. Paid, uh, I don't know, a couple of bucks each. Thought they'd be good for the flea market. Turns out that uh, they were old enough and desirable enough to be sold on eBay um, one of them sold for, I had, I bought a bunch of these. One of them sold for, um, $35, I believe something, maybe $40. All right. Um, uh, just something unusual and something interesting that you might be able to sell on eBay are plushes. People do collect them. They do like them. Most of them don't sell for a lot of money, but every once in a while, I mean, even the ones that don't sell for a lot of money, they'll sell for more than, uh. Then you get at a yard sale, 50 cents a dollar, you know, maybe a couple of bucks. But uh, okay, my next sale, we're back to perfumes. Revlon Charlie Concentrated Cologne Spray, 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 millimeters. It's a large size bottle, and it was 95% full, probably full. But I just say stuff like 95% full. Got $41.99 for it with free shipping. Um... It was listed near a year, December 22, 2017. Not bad. 
um, something like that. I, you know, depending on the size, I'd pay five to ten for. Don't remember what I paid. You know, I buy so much stuff sometimes. It's actually uh, this is a slow dying. I don't know if you hear that motorcycle going by. This is actually a slow down time of the year for me buying. And I'm not I'm not really worried about buying and hustling and getting new stuff in. I have plenty of stock. I have piles of things that I could be listing all the time. And I do. Just can't get just can't get to all of it. Um Chanel, number five, Eau de Cologne Splash, Chanel New York, um, two fluid ounces, seventy percent full. Thirty two ninety nine. Um that's why when you see these, try not to pay more than ten dollars a bottle. They're not really worth a lot. And uh, do they sell immediately or right away? Well, let's see. Uh, the answer will be no. It took me um, almost 11 months to sell this. Listed in February. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, 10 months. February um, 2017. Still, Chanel. Everybody knows it. Everybody likes it. Vintage. Good for 30 bucks. Not bad. All right. Here's a, a newer um, perfume and lotion. Uh, lotion. So I actually took this from a gift set. Twenty-eight ninety-nine free ship. Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Wish O D Perfume Spray and Softening Body Lotion. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Uh, didn't even have it listed very long. Sold November fourteenth, middle of the month. Listed it November first. Two weeks. Not bad at all. Uh, don't know if I sold the perfume yet. Uh, I knew I would sell the lotion right away. Wasn't worth a lot. Uh, but still, I think I probably paid ten dollars for the whole gift set. Bet I paid less. You know, I probably did. All right, here's uh, jewelry. This is a listing of Marie's. We probably sold this for um, not enough or a little bit less. Um, we listed it to auction. We probably could have gotten 70 or more in the store. But $39.99 is not too shabby. Five-day auction. I guess we had one bid. And it's just a very lovely antique vintage Art Nouveau open back blue check crystal festoon choker necklace. Um, nothing else to say about it. Not signed or hallmarked in any way. We just knew what it was. All right, here's uh, something that I bought so long ago. Um, possibly, geez, I don't even know if my kid was born then. Decades. So I was at a flea market, and I see a guy. It was at the Metal Ends, actually. And I see a guy has a basket of these little things, right? And I'm like, how much are these? And he's like, a buck a piece. So I say, how much for the little basket? I think I paid like 40 bucks. Don't know for sure. Uh, I paid anywhere from 25 to $40, and I guess there was about 100 of them. Uh, I've been listing these forever on eBay. And then I, I, I forgot I had them. In a list. I had a multiple listing. It ended. I had even more. These are vintage gold tone with black enamel, Keith Herring, uh, Radiant Baby jewelry charms. Again, I know they're old because I bought them a long time ago, and they were even older than that. At the time, I knew who Keith Herring was. I've always liked art, and I know s some stuff. I'm Believe me, I don't know anything uh, for real, but I can recognize uh, certain things and certain artists and, and quality. Anyway... Look at this. And this thing is, I can't even show how big it is, but it's about the size, uh, smaller than a quarter, maybe the size of a nickel. Twenty five ninety nine, just because what it is. And again, hey, what did I say earlier at the beginning of this video? eBay is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You can grow your eBay business. You can make lots of money from it. But, you know, unless you've got this amazing uh, source of uh, product, you know, it's going to take a while to build it. Uh, I mean, it took me like uh, maybe 15 years to get my store up to a thousand items, but not because I've been, I'm not really doing it hardcore. And Marie wasn't listening at the time, just me. Anyway, my next sale, glass, something different. Um, this is an Imperial Acanthus Red. I don't even know if I said that right. Sunset. Swirled leaf design, carnival glass candy compote, thirty-five ninety-nine free ship. I had this in my my uh, booth. I think I didn't take it to the flea market. They're not buying stuff like that from the flea market. I could probably get ten dollars at a flea market. I'd probably 
paid ten dollars for it. You know, sometimes they get lucky and pay less for that stuff. I don't think I had it listed too long. Nope. October 17th, 2018. I just found the right price and I made it the right price and it sold in a fairly quickly amount of time. All right. Vintage Aurora Borealis Crystal Rhinestone Christmas Tree Pin. Twenty one ninety nine. Hey, Christmas is coming. List your Christmas stuff. If it's ever going to sell, it's going to be now. Um, it's just a vintage pin, not signed by any maker. Twenty one ninety nine. dollars uh, Good till cancel listing, which means we ran into auction and it did not sell. Nothing else I can tell you about that. It's a Christmas pin and Christmas is coming. Uh, vintage Scrimshaw Bolo Tie with Selling Ship and Whale uh, Black Leather Braided Cord. All right, uh, $32.99. Kind of cool. It was done on bone. Had it listed not very long. Pretty sure we ran it to auction. Kind of a nice little scene. People like Scrimshaw and people like Bolo Ties. Um, we thought $32.99 was a fair price. And that's what it sold for. It's just joy. Uh, here's something that Marie bought. And it was super cheap. I believe it was like $5 when we bought it. I was like, oh my God, I don't even want to deal with this stuff because I can't, I don't like big items. Uh, I have space issues. I don't like storing big items. I don't like shipping big items. Shipping is going to be expensive. In order for me to be interested in selling something like this, it's got to be worth like 50 Bucks, maybe 40 bare minimum. And that's and that's just like shipping's gonna be 15, 20, whatever. So really 50. Um, but when we were looking at it, Maria's like, oh, buy it, we'll sell it at the flea market, 10 bucks, blah, blah, blah. But then we found out it sells on eBay for like um 50 or so, right? But to be honest, I really think we took it out a little. I'm almost positive, and I tried to get 15 for it. And I figured 52.99. I mean, I really tried to get 20, but I at a flea market. But I had it out. Nobody bought it. And I just figured, you know what? The package is going to be screwed up. Christmas is coming. Let me throw it on eBay um, for the $52.99. And it did sell. And I, whatever it cost to ship, I did wind up getting more than I was getting at the flea markets, uh, which was nothing. And I wouldn't put it in the showcase because it would take up way too much room, you know, for the small amount of value it had. How long did we have it listed? Not very long. October 9th. <clears throat> and we're still around the middle of the month. November 17th. Okay, my next sale, um, Vintage Zuni Sterling Silver Turquoise Curl, MOP, which stands for Mother of Pearl, uh, Black Onyx Pierced Earrings. Kind of nice, right? $24.99. Um, yep, uh, $800 sterling. And had them listed since May this year. Relatively decent sale. Didn't get a ton of money for it, but uh, at the flea market, the most we would get would be 10 to 15 probably $12. And I, I tell you, I'm positive we tried. All right, next sale, uh, more jewelry. We basically don't even bother putting this stuff at flea markets anymore, unless we're willing to sell it for 10 to $15. Um, vintage Silvertone Paris France Souvenir Panel Bracelet um, with Fleur de Lis. It looks like it had some enamel there too. $26.99, not a lot of money. Don't know what we paid. Probably paid five bucks. Um, October 29th, 2018th. It was a quick sale on eBay. All right. Again, this is that was not signed jewelry. It's just jewelry that from personal experience we knew somebody would be willing to buy. All right, another cologne. Tailspin. Never heard of it. Uh, cologne Splash Luchen Le Long. Not a name I'm familiar with. Big bottle. Eight fluid ounces. And it looked about 80% full. $59.99. 60 bucks is what I got. How long did I have it listed for? Yeah, 2017, January. So a little blah, 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 blah. Almost two years. Not really, but pushing towards two years. Um, yeah, I bought it, looked it up, figured that's how much it's worth, listed it, and waited for it to sell. Moving on. Here's something that's pretty cool. Um... Micro mosaic stuff sells. The old antique stuff sells for a lot. This was a small picture frame. Uh, it was about four and, in, four and one half inches long. I guess that's in height. And $40. 
I know we ran it to auction. I know it did not sell. And I know we put it in. Oh, no, it did sell. Auction, one bid. $39.99. There you go. Uh, I guess we could have got a little bit more if we had waited. But we didn't. Um, you see this stuff. You see the really old ones? You're talking big money. This stuff, eh, 20 30 40 50 bucks, Not bad. All right. Ooh, uh, okay, this was a surprise sale. This is the kind of thing that I would call like a stupid item that I would never think would be worth as much as it was. But it was. Um, 14 karat gold over resin. So it's basically a gold plating, Mylor, Italy chain link bracelet with a magnetic clasp of all things. I've... I'm not really aware of any valuable jewelry with magnetic clasps as of yet. Um, but this stuff was like QVC stuff. And um, the one thing I can tell you, people like Mylor jewelry. Uh, Mylor does well uh, for some reason. Uh, but so anyway, this stuff is like, it's like a brass cover over like a resin. And that makes it very solid. So it doesn't crush, right? And then they played it with 14 karat gold. So you can't even really scrap this stuff, right? But look at this. I got we got $51.99. Um, well, $51.99 for this this thing. Three bids. And uh the starting price is $49.99. So we kind of priced it right, I guess. Um, the bids went up a couple of dollars. But if you see if you see 14 cold over uh, 14 karat gold over resin, and when I first saw it, I was like, does this say 14 karat? Which it did, right? Um, but I had never seen I've never seen 14 karat with a gold clasp. And in, again, I never this isn't 14 karat with a gold clasp. But still, 50 oh fifty two dollars, you know, not bad. And this is something that I did not expect to have this value. We were talking about taking it to the flea market and selling it for ten dollars. And then we looked it up. Surprise, surprise. Um Marie bought a box of keys, and this was in it. It was a antique. Louis Vuitton, or Vuitton, I don't know. Steamer trunk skeleton key, number 064693, $49.99. Um, skeleton keys can sell. Sometimes some sell for more. Sometimes they sell a lot. Why did we get 50 bucks for this? Louis Vuitton, come on. As soon as we saw it, we knew we were going to list it. It's a designer name. Designer stuff sells. What would we sell it at the flea market for? Honestly, I don't think anybody would have ever noticed it. And if they did, um, I don't know. Maybe I could have squeezed 20 bucks out of it. That I thought would be pushing it. All right. Um, next sale. <laughs> $14.99. Was this an auction? No, it was good till canceled. Jeez. How long did I have this? February 24, 2018. I don't know. Marie must have just figured these were worth 15 bucks. Vintage dark green prong set rhinestone dangle clip black e back earrings. 15 bucks, um, whatever. I would have sold these at the flea market for like five and been happy. But um, I guess she tried and they weren't selling. Every once in a while, Muri will raid her jewelry case and just, you know, stuff that should have sold, she'll list. Um, and again, it wasn't signed jewelry. It was just jewelry and she used the right keywords to sell it. All right, my next sale, Givenchy. Per home, aftershave. I already told you per home means for men. Aftershave splash, 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 millimeters, 85% full with the cap off. $26.99. Now, you would think with a name like Givenchy and a large, I want to say large ass size of 3.3 fluid ounces that this would sell for more than $27, but it did not. So don't be fooled by, the, uh, by a designer name. A designer name does not ensure big money you know so you can't always pay a lot for something just because it has a designer name but look here's an interesting sale this is remember i said i had one sale 159.99 is my best sale for the month and it was a perfume well here it is aramis new west skin scent for men eau de toilet splash 3.4 fluid ounces 100 milliliters and this was full 159.99 i guess it was discontinued I guess they can't get it anymore. I did receive an offer on this. Jeez, uh, I think it was like I think it was like sixty bucks or so, some some horrible offer. And I was, and I so I said, you know, let me see. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm crazy. 
maybe I'm asking way too much, $159.99. And then I looked and I discovered that mine was the lowest price on eBay, so I refused the offer. I was like, thanks, but no thanks. Anyway, um, perfume. When I bought it, did I know it was going to be worth so much? No, I did not. Um, but I did the research, and that's what I found out. All right, my next sale. Again, not designer. Uh, it's so competitive where I am. Uh, people fight for stuff. Designer stuff goes the first. If it has a name on it, it's gone. When I go to shop, people pay more for the names because they know that names sell. So how do we sell this? Well, sometimes you have to look for items that are unusual. And this was. This was a vintage gold tone astrological sign belt. And it had faux pearl accents. $46 even. $46.00. Cents. Uh, we started off at $39.99. It was an auction five days. It was just a pretty cool belt. Anybody that likes astrology would have been interested in this belt. And um, it sold because of what it was. Don't know if people were looking for astrology belts, but they found this one and they bought it. All right, um, still got about 20 more items to go through, so let's just keep going. What do you know? Another perfume, Bogner Paris Eau de Toilette Natural Spay. Uh, spray, I don't know if I just said spay. Uh, 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 milliliters, 95% full. Huh, $99.99. Well, that was a pretty good sale. Bogner Paris. I'm going to have to try and remember that. Um, perfume. I sell perfume. I like to sell perfume. And I sold this perfume for $99.99. How long did I have it listed? I listed it in February, uh, February 16th of 2018. So not an insanely long amount of time. All right. Um, vintage Whiting and Davis Gold Tone Mesh Purse. Evening bag. I guess because the holidays are rolling around. We were able to sell this. Uh, we listed in April 27th, 2018, 50 bucks. And I am going to say we had this at the flea market for months and months and months and months and nobody bought it. So we finally gave up and put it on eBay. Um, we got $50 for it. People like Whiting and Davis. They like the older stuff. They like the fancy stuff. 50 bucks. What did I get at the flea market for it? Zero bucks. All right. Uh, here's a piece of sign jewelry that we were able to sell. And uh, we sold this for a good amount. Designer, people will pay $125.99 signs uh, SG. And the SG we were able to find out stood for Sergio Guterres. And it was a little, a little, liquid metal mesh choker necklace. Um, added listed since the summer, July 18th, 2018, which means we ran it to auction for less. And it took less than six months to sell. And we got $125.99. If you can remember that SG stands for Sergio Guterres, well, you know, great. Um, next time you see an SG, you'll buy it and you'll make a lot of money. If not, just go with the golden rule. Sign jewelry sells. Doesn't always sell for a lot, but people, uh, when they do their search, generally... Uh, search by designers. All right. Oh, we did sell. Okay. Um, remember I mentioned a uh, vintage Hermes scarf that I had? Well, we bought this at, uh, actually, we didn't, this was given to us for help, for being helpful at the same sale. Vintage Hermes Paris Green Silk Pocket Square Handkerchief with Box Tribal Design, $75.99. Uh, ever heard of Hermes? And actually, I don't think it's pronounced Hermes. It might be Hermé. Uh, Hermes. Hermé. I had someone corrected me on that last night. And, you know, but whatever. Takes me a while for stuff to sink in. $75.99. Got it for free. Got it for being helpful. Um, I did provide a lot of help. And I personally think my time is valuable. All right. Um, ba -ba -da. Um, ever hear of Lucinda House Pins? Well, this one was a Halloween house pin by Lucinda. It had black cats, bats, and orange sparkles. Kind of neat. Um, amazingly, we did run this to auction for five days, and Marie decided to start it off at $24.99. Uh, it got three bids from $24.99 and made it all the way up to $26.52. <sighs> a, a whole whopping 
dollar fifty three cents increase in bidding. Anyway, Lucinda house pins can sell. Most of them don't sell for very much. They sell for eight to ten dollars. Uh, what I like to do with these is generally lot them. We decided to sell this one separately because people like Halloween. It was unusual, and um, I don't know. Did we sell it before Halloween? I don't know. Whatever. Um, no, we sold it after because October is Halloween. Okay. Uh, $26.52. Not bad. I'm sure we paid less than $2 for it. Uh, more jewelry. And let me see how long we had this listed for. Not long because it was an auction. Five days. twenty four ninety nine. Um, Was this signed in any way? No. Um, it was made in Western Germany, which means it was vintage. I would say it was 60s to 70s. Um, that would be my rough guess. Vintage West Germany pin purple violet uh, flowers with green enamel leaves. Very nice, twenty four ninety nine. Um, why did people find it? Um, I'm assuming people that collect West Germany pin uh, jewelry found it. One bid, surprised it sold. You never know what's going to sell these uh, in this day and age, uh, but it did sell. All right. Oh my God! Here's something that I had for more than ten years. 11 years, November 13th, 2007. Part of a big box I bought off of a, a clean-out vendor of ornaments many moons ago. Five ninety six, dollars which is a weird-ass price for me to put down. Um, $6 shipping, so I guess it sold for twelve nine. no, eleven ninety six, And uh, it went out of the country to some grandparents because it's a grandparent's ornament. Would I ever buy this stuff again? Not if I'm going to list it. I, I might buy it and, and give it to someone else to list when I when I make an eBay company uh, in the future. But anyway, uh, it's stuff like this is annoying as hell, but it goes back to what I said in the beginning of this video. eBay is not a get rich scheme. If you want to if you're going to do eBay um, successfully, you're going to be doing it for the rest of your life. You know, you can dabble in it, but if it's part of your income, it will be so forever. And like I said, you'll get up in the morning and you will br sleep, breathe, eat, whatever eBay, and uh, it will consume your life. That's why I don't really like eBay that much. I did it very, I did it like every day, morning to night for a, a whole bunch of years. And I finally said, screw this crap. I'm going to concentrate more on flea markets. And I did for a while. And flea markets were good. But now flea markets suck. So I'm back to messing with eBay. All right, more perfume. And this went to a zero feedbacker, which means they probably joined eBay just to buy this perfume. They actually asked me about this perfume. Um, they sent me a question and they said, what does this perfume smell like? Uh, and then they asked me some other dumb questions. And as I do, I just ignored it, especially they were zero feedback. Um, but lucky for them, I didn't block them. So they just decided to buy it about a week or so later, twenty nine ninety nine, and I did not have it listed very long. I listed it on November sixteenth, and it sold November twenty fifth. So quick sale. I wish most of my sales were like that. Everybody talks about like, oh, all well, your sales could be quick, blah 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 blah, um, and that does work sometimes if the item is desirable. If the item's not desirable or only a small group of people want it. Then you can't do that. You get how low can you go? If nobody wants it, nobody wants it. You're gonna have to wait. Uh, three stand freshwater pearl necklace with uh, large clear rhinestone uh, side decoration. Uh, I'm pretty sure we ran this to auction. Yep, ran it to auction. Did not sell. Problem with pearl jewelry is there's a, a kabillion pieces of pearl jewelry on eBay. Tons of it, literally. I don't know. You could probably make a small island in the Caribbean from all the pearl jewelry that's listed on eBay. Um, Sixty-two ninety-nine. Do I think it was worth more? Hell yeah! But because there's so much stuff, so much uh, pearl jewelry on eBay, this stuff gets lost. We had it at the flea market. We thought it was really beautiful, really nice. Nobody would buy it for. I think she probably wanted thirty or so dollars for it. Put it on eBay. Didn't even sell when we ran it to auction. Put it in the store. Sixty-two ninety-nine. What made it sell? I don't know. Maybe the rhinestone. Maybe it's a three strand. You know, if you if you do if one strand, two strands, three strands, uh, multi-strand stuff does sell better. I can say that. 
And then the pearls are nice looking. And the price was cheap, in my, in my opinion. <coughs> As a fact, I'll say. It's not even my opinion. All right. Um, oh, here's a signed piece of jewelry that we sold. Uh, vintage signed crown trafari silver tone necklace with gold tone accents. $35.99. This was kind of cool. Didn't even sell for um, that much money. Kind of modernist in design. Uh, crown trafari does regular than does better than regular trafari. I'll, I'll just uh, say. And I think crown trafari does not say crown trafari. It just has, uh, mm, let's see. Yeah, it says it usually says Trafari and it has a crown over the T. So that's how you recognize Crown Trafari. Um, why did it sell? It's it was a designer signed and it was a pretty cool piece, and we did not make it. Uh, it was, our price was good. All right, I'm not gonna say we're winding down, but uh, ten more sales. I've already gone through thirty nine of my listings that I have sold, and ten more to go. All right, here's a nice little pin uh, that we sold, not designer. Not sign, uh, but we knew what it was. And let's see if it sold at auction. Yes, one bid. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It didn't sell at auction. Good to cancel, which means we listed at auction. It didn't sell. We probably listed it for uh, $29.99. And when it didn't sell, I raised it to $32.99. Antique Victorian pink molded glass pin brooch with rose flower design. Kind of a small one. Kind of nice. Not special. But if you see stuff like this, uh, pick it up for small dollars because it's worth uh i don't know 30s of dollars at the very least all right moving on said the cow that's my new thing and i think i did that last month i want to say it again this month um cds this was the cheapest thing i sold i think um this month 12.99 it was a karaoke CD. I had these listed on um, Amazon. Amazon started gating me uh, and did a bunch of my listings. I got pissed off and ended all my Amazon listings, and I put some of the stuff on eBay. Still have a lot of stuff to put on eBay. Amazon really screwed me over. I've been mad at Amazon ever since. I'm being petty about it. I canceled my Amazon Prime. I'm not buying from Amazon, and I canceled. I canceled all my listings on Amazon. Uh, anyway, twelve ninety nine, just a CD, nothing too special there. And blah 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 blah. blah. This is kind of cool, but again, um, the person bought it because it looks cool. Was it signed? Nope. Um, but here's what it is: a large, funky, mid century modern abstract pendant with silver tone necklace. Uh, what helped this sell? Well, I'm going to say the picture helped it sell because it's pretty damn cool. Maybe mid-century modern, maybe abstract. I don't know. Somebody just found it. Um, they didn't find it when we ran it to auction. They found it when we put it in the eBay store. Seventy-five ninety-nine. Uh, not bad. Oh, and by the way, we did have that at the flea market, and we couldn't get twenty dollars for it. All right. Oh, here's um. One of those Vernon pottery miniatures. They're these little tiny crocs. They're really cool. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger than a penny. You know? Um, I mean, actually much bigger than a penny. But, but still, they're really pretty damn small. And I guess people use them for dollhouses. Maybe they collect them, put them on their shelves. I don't really know. Twenty four ninety nine. I bought a whole bag of these for like $2.00. <laughs> and um, Maria and I had a big debate on how much we, could, we should list them for. She was like... Like she thought they're so small, they can't be worth anything. She said like, like twelve dollars, fourteen. I'm like, no, make them twenty, make them twenty five. And when they sell, they sell, and I don't care because you're doing all this work. You deserve to make more money for your work, and she did because of of my advice. Twenty four ninety nine, amazing, right? All right, moving on. Um, here's a Danbury Mint Onyx Heart Sterling Silver Stack, uh, Sterling Silver Necklace. And it also had a bracelet, and it was an earring uh, set or a lot. Seventy-two ninety-nine. <clears throat> I know we ran these to auction. I know it didn't sell. Um, we listed it in November thirteen, and it sold November twenty-eighth, near the end of the month. Seventy-two ninety-nine. A pretty decent sale. Marie did some research on it, and she was happy to find that it sold for uh, in this price range, 
And um, who would have thought Denbury Mint jewelry sells for that price? Uh, but it did. And we're happy. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, moving on. Vintage Italian 19-inch blue with Go Flex Murano glass bead necklace. Murano jewelry sells $39.99. Um, it doesn't sell very quickly if you ask a lot, a lot for it. But if you keep it in the $40, $50, $60 range, $30 range maybe, depending on what it is, it moves. Um, we ran it to auction, didn't sell. We put it as a buy it now. It did sell, listed it in October of oh, uh, 2018, 09. And it sold uh, on November 28th. Nice. If you see jewelry like this, $10, $15 maybe at most, pick it up, put it on eBay, it will sell. Murano jewelry. All right. Um, ever heard of Kirk's Folly? Kirk's Folly does well on eBay. Doesn't always do like amazingly well, but if you can get it at yard sales and it's new, so most people don't sell it for a lot. They're like, oh, this isn't, this is just new stuff, you know. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, did we run it to auction? Uh, we did. It did not sell. It went to. It went to a a, a buy it now. Good till canceled. Um, I put it on in May, and it took a little while to sell. Not an insane amount of, of time. Thirty bucks. Twenty nine ninety nine. Not bad. Kirk's folly. Nothing else I can say about it. People do like charm bracelets, and this was a fun one. Okay, another CD, another CD, and this one I had on. Before I even discovered Amazon, before Amazon was a thing. I listed this. That's right. Amazon wasn't always as big as it was. Amazon, back in March of 2010, when I listed this, was... I don't even know if they existed. I really don't know, you know? Uh, but I know eBay existed, and I was listing CDs. And this is one of the CDs I listed back then. Uh, took uh, eight years to sell. I sold it for $9.99 with $3 shipping. Um, nothing special to say here. Sold a CD on eBay. And it only took eight years. Uh, my last two sales of the month. Maya Evangelista. Uh, they, they were actually, I sold two different listings to the same person. Each listing was $24.99. I bought these quite a while ago. Let me see when I when I uh, first bought these. Ba, 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 ba. Um, again, stuff I bought, put to the side, and then listed maybe six months to a year later. And I did list these in October 30th, 2017. So they took over a year and one month to sell. Maya Evangelista, snakeskin, textured, mirrored lipstick case. These things don't really look very special, but people are collecting that name, Maya Evangelista. They're actually made out of resin uh so like a cheap plastic they just have a pretty cool look uh to them um the person bought two from me she bought uh the snake this snake skin one and then she bought this other not snake skin one but it was textured kind of cool you know um again i don't believe they're very old um the pictures look nicer than they are if you held these in your hand, you might say, geez, these look kind of chintzy. We did only get 25 bucks for them, but it's a first-class item, so shipping's like, I don't know, four or five bucks. And I think I probably pay five dollars a piece for them. So, you know, decent profit on it. Anyway, that, that was it. That's it. That's everything I sold this month. Um, was I happy this month with all my wonderful sales? Eh, I'm satisfied. Whatever. Um I wish I was doing better, but at least I, I brought it back up to $2,000. How am I doing this month so far? Jeez, let's see. All right. Uh, today is the 5th of December. I don't know exactly when I will put this video up, but today is the 5th of December. And how have my sales been? Well, I, the 5th of December means that about one-sixth of the month has gone through, and I'm not going to run my listings uh, to the end of the month because uh, I take a vacation and I close down my store around Christmas time. It's too annoying. You know, I don't want to be bothered with people. I could leave it open and sell stuff, but I don't. 
I just, I, from past experience, it's not worth it. So anyway, six days into the month, $342.95. And that's five days into the month. That would be today. So if I do that times six, that means I'll make $1,500 this month. Oh, hell no. I better not. I actually had a really strong uh, start. My first sale this month was a $200 item. And then it just kind of uh, slowed to to like 20 to $50 items, but not a lot. Um, how many items did I sell? Five. So uh, an item a day. Whoopee. Whatever. Anyway, um, hope you guys have learned something from me. Um, I hope you found this mildly entertaining. But more than anything, I do hope that you learned something. Um, that's it for this month. I'm going to end it here. Um, hopefully ne next month, uh, this month, December, and that was it for last month. This month, December, will be amazing because it's Christmas. You know, people should be buying stuff. Uh, one good thing is January is usually pretty good because they get a lot of Christmas money. But anyway, that's it. I'm out of here. Um, I think I showed you what I could show you. I think I taught you what I could taught you. Um, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>